everyone so it is time to project pan again I'm gonna go ahead and start even though it's not quite the end of the year yet but I'm doing project pan a little bit different for 2016 I have made a list in my handy dandy little makeup notebook I guess of all the products both makeup and hair care skin care all of that sort of thing just all of the beauty products in general that I want to try and finish up this year and so I'm pretty sure that Jess or Lena 7623 she did this one time I have them all numbered I am going to draw the number I'm it's not necessarily a roulette because I'm not picking out you know a product in a color you don't wear or something like that I'm just Picking out a number and using up the product that correlates with it. But another thing I'm doing different is this is going to be a year-long project pan. I'm just going to update once a month. And whenever I finish up products, I'm just going to draw numbers out of my little handy-dandy bucket here to replace them. So I'm just going to constantly be panning because I have some products that are going to take longer, some that are going to be pretty easy to use up, and I don't want to put a time limit on it. I'll just, this is going to be one continuous project pan. I'm going to always have 10 items going, and I'm just going to update every month, and whether I've finished up anything and what I'm replacing, and I don't want project painting to be stressful, and it shouldn't be. Like, I do this for fun, but it just got, it's not stressful, it's just overwhelming. Like, this past year, it just got very overwhelming, especially when you add in all of the seasonal challenges and everything, which I've also changed how I'm doing that, too. And on my list, I've already got some items that I'm putting into a seasonal product, product, project, so I already have those marked off. They don't have numbers in here, but for the most part... It's about 60 or so products. And if I find anything throughout the year that I want to use up, I'll just add it onto the list and add a number to the bucket. And I'm going to, I mean, I didn't want to put like 60 something items in front of me, so I'm going to draw the number out, tell you what it is, and then once I've drawn all the numbers, I'll go get all of the products and show them to you and measure them and mark them and everything like that. Okay. Let me shake up my bucket again. I'm gonna dance with it. Oh. Just give me one. Okay, the first one is number 37 which is my Marc Jacobs Sunset Eyeliner. It's like a, a gold bronze color. Number 13, my Urban Decay Eyeliner in Faint. So far two for two with eyeliners. Number 15, my Lorac Goddess Lip Gloss. Number 72, my Orly Top and Base Coat. Number 50, my Pantene Volume Touchable Hairspray. The struggle is real with me in hairspray. <laughs> Number 47, my Dr. Bronner Soap. I told y'all, this is a hodgepodge. <laughs> Number 33, my Pond's Rejuvenous Cream. Ooh. That sucker is big. I'm going to use this. One, two, four, five, six, seven. Three more. Number 34. 
more. Number 22, my Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfume. Number six, my Kaylin Gel Eyeliner, and I made a note. I just wanted to hit pan on it. Oh my gosh, that's three eyeliners. Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana bronzer, but it's really a highlighter, and I want to hit pan on it. I made a note. That pan. Let me double check. One, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes, that is okay. So I went and gathered up everything. I've got my first ten items. First up is my Wet n Raw. Wet and Wild, Wet and Wild Reserve Your Cabana, and this is a bronzer, but I mean it's basically my skin tone. It's the only highlighter product. It's the only highlighting product that I have. It's my all-time favorite highlighter, and my goal for this is to hit pan. I've actually had this for a while, but I've just been trying to use up so many like shimmery blushes and everything that. I just haven't really used this. So, I mean, I have a bit, a very small little bloop going right in the middle. Um, I may do like Tara does, Tara Babies. If you don't watch her, you should. And, you know, use it to bring it down my neck and everything because, I don't know, my neck just never sees the sun. And so it's like ghostly pale. Especially, I don't know, like my face is pale, but my neck is ghostly pale. So, I'm going to use this to like bring it down my neck and everything. Who knows? I may use it as a setting powder, which is crazy coming from a grease monster me. But, I don't know. We'll get creative. I just want to hit pan on it though. I'm not going to try to use up all 13 grams. That's a lot. Like, that's huge. Even, I mean, I've used some, but still, that's huge. <laughs> Next up is my Kaylin Gel Liner in Iron. I got this a long time ago in an Ipsy bag. Like, I haven't gotten Ipsy in a couple of years. And I just want to hit pan on this. It's this... Smoky gray, like, when you wear it, it looks like it's one of, it wants to be black, but it just misses the mark. So, I mean, I have a dip going, and my goal is I just want to hit pan. And after I hit pan on this, I'm just going to toss it, because it's just not my favorite. Like, if I'm going to wear an eyeliner like this, sorry, I got an itch. If I'm going to wear an eyeliner like this, which a gel eyeliner I typically use for winged liner. I want a black. This looks like it wants to be black, but it's like a cheapy brand and it just fell short. Do you get what I'm saying? So I just want to hit pan on it and then I won't feel bad about tossing it. <laughs> Next up is my Pacifica Island Vanilla Perfume. This was another Ipsy product. And I haven't used very much of it. My line is up here. I didn't give this a fair shot when I first got it. When you smell it in the roller ball, it smells like, oh, sickeningly sweet. Like, almost too vanilla. But when you put it on the skin and it warms up, it's this really nice vanilla scent. Like, it doesn't smell so sickeningly sweet. So, even though it's island vanilla, I think this will be good for year-round, especially starting out in the colder months. Next up is my Pond's Rejuvenous Cream. This bad boy is going to take a while. I can't see exactly where to measure, but for my next update, 
I'll get a better idea. It's like midnight 30 and I'm just trying to get this done. <laughs> I'm like just under here. I use this like on my neck and kind of on my decollete. Um, I may try to start using this at night just to use it up a little bit quicker. I mean it is an anti-wrinkle cream. It does have alpha hydroxy acid and collagen and everything in it so I may use it at night on my face. I may try that and see how heavy it is on my face. Especially since we're in the colder months I might can get away with that. I mean it's okay. It definitely has the ponds kind of powdery old lady smell to it which kind of gets to me and I kind of want to get rid of it mainly because of that. <laughs> uh, next is my Dr. Bronner soap. This one's going to take a while too. This is my Dr. Bronner's Magic Soap 18 in 1 Hemp Lavender Pure Castile Soap. On here it says that it's only good for 24 months and I don't think I'm but a few months away from that and I'm only to here because I use this to clean my beauty blender. I'm about to start using it to clean my brushes but you use a mixture of it. Like I use one part of this to two parts water for like my spray I use for my beauty blender or sponge or whatever. But, I mean, it says on here that you can use it for body wash and everything. And I know Leanne says uses this as body wash. So, I may even start trying that because I'm almost out of my body wash. So, I may even try that. I may try it for hand soap. It says it has 18 uses. So, I'm going to see what the 18 uses are and I may try all of them. <laughs> Next is the Pantene Volume Touchable Hairspray. I don't know since this is in like a pump bottle if this is going to go quicker or take longer than the aerosol. But this is also smaller than an aerosol. I haven't measured this either because this is brand new. Like I don't think it's completely up at the top. Next time like I said I'll have a better like mark on here but I haven't used it at all so I'm just assuming it's you know up towards the top. I have such a hard time with hairspray. Hopefully, with it getting in, you know, colder months, my hair more staticky, I'm actually doing my hair more. And also, this is flexible hold, so I'm hoping maybe I can, you know, brush it out and it won't make my hair crunchy, because that's a big part of why I don't like hairspray, is I feel like once I use hairspray, I have to wash my hair, like, that day, because it just feels crunchy and I can't do anything else to it. So maybe with the flexible hold. It'll be better. Next is my Orly Top and Base Coat. I didn't grab that. I'll insert a picture of where I am. So, I mean, basically, I use it for my top and my base coat. It's not my favorite. My favorite top coat is the Sesh Feet. And I've heard Cassie from Thrift Thick talk about on multiple occasions how much she likes the anchor base coat from Orly. So those I want to purchase but I want to use up the Orly you know basing top coat duo before I go and buy those because the Orly base coat is 10 and such feet depending on where you get it is 7 to 10 so before I go buy those I want to use up this one first. Next is my Urban Decay, this is not, this is not Urban Decay, <laughs> my Lorac Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Goddess. This is like a little free gift that I got when I purchased some Lorac lipsticks. And I have said on many occasions how I cannot, cannot stand lip gloss. This formula might be my holy grail formula of lip gloss it's amazing like it feels nice and slippery on the lips but it doesn't feel like it's bleeding out of your lip line 
It's not sticky. Your lips don't stick together. It smells like vanilla. I love it. I'll just give you a swatch. Now, I mean, how much is in here? 0.76 grams. I wouldn't think that this will take me too terribly long. And it's this is like a really pretty neutral color. And these are nice and opaque in color, but they're not like a liquid lipstick. So, they're kind of a ridiculous swatch, but it's just pretty. You know, it's a purpley mauve color. Great with, you know, winter time and Valentine's Day and everything coming up. Let me give you a swatch of what Reserve Your Cabana looks like on me, too. Like, this is such a gorgeous highlighter for, you know, fair skin ladies. Because it's not shimmery. It just gives a glow. And that's a really heavy swatch. But, I mean, it's basically my skin tone. So, I could use it to bring it down my neck. Or to set foundation. I've used it some to set my concealer under my eyes. And, it, I mean, it was fine for that. And then the Kaylin Gel Island, just so y'all can see what I'm talking about, where it looks like it wants to be black when it grows up, but it just looks like a cheap, faded black eyeliner. See, it looks almost black, but not quite. So, I just want to hit pan on it. I've used it as a base some for smoky eyes, but I just, I don't use... I don't wear smoky eyes enough to justify having a base for it. And then my last two products are stick eyeliners. The first one is the Urban Decay Eyeliner and Faint. This is just a matte, kind of mid-tone brown shade. Really pretty. I think this would make a nice base too. I have an idea for using this. And if it works, I'll talk about it in my update. Well, I'll talk about it anyways. But you'll hear about it in my update. I got stuff all over my hands. So, this is brand new. Like, I've only swatched it. So, I started measuring it down here at this pink line. I got all the way up here to go. And then my last item is my, where did it go? My Marc Jacobs Eyeliner in Sunset. This is just a mini, and it's broken. It's just a mini that I got in a kit last year. I love these eyeliners. It's just a nice, like, kind of coppery gold shade. But this one, these have such little product in them. Like I started measuring on this same bottom line down here, and right here is where I have. So, I think a couple weeks of wearing this consistently, and it could be gone. So, I'm going to go clean up my hands. Subscribe. I'd love to have you, and I'll see you next time.